Hi everyone, this is Victorian Dreams by Lee, and it's me, Lee. Hello, hello. So I'm here to do a Glue Gun Chronicles tutorial. So let's get started. My husband says, call this Victorian Dream Catchers. So, but I'm like, well, maybe they should be wire lace breeze catchers but I think he's right so anyway <clears throat> I know everyone sees them on Pinterest and they're like we should do that we should do that so let's do it here's the first one it's pretty big it's really big <sighs> and they're easy but a little time-consuming okay and then here's a second one and both of them are beige and whites so let's see so that's what we're gonna make okay I did get this idea from Pinterest I say Pinterest instead of just pinning it let's make it and I think there's actually a group that I'm a part of that says instead of pinning make it so anyway let's get started it's um it's a it's a uh, clothes hanger, but I have none of those wire clothes hangers, and I'm not touching this because it's got oil on it. This is from um, Home Depot, and it's wire masonry tie, and you tie rebar with it. But we're not going to use it for that. You get a whole whole lot for four dollars wire masonry tie to tie rebar down and you get a lot for four dollars it's got oil on it so we pre-cut what we thought we needed and then wash the oil right off because it does come right off so let's move this out of the way and it's heavy <laughs> so here is a piece of the wire that i cut and it, it, it is the same as a coat hanger and and I cut about three feet so let me get my bucket um, so here is the heart that we're gonna make let me throw that wire out of the way here's the heart we're gonna make and Johnny my husband was kind enough to try to solder it and it didn't work and then he tried to um, weld it he tried all kind of stuff but what worked the best was from I think I got this from Hobby Lobby silver craft wire and it comes in a spool like this and all we did was wrap it right here together Let's see if you see that and so there you go okay so I tried quite a different things to show you which is best and that is best and it it gets hidden so don't fret over that so in my bucket this is what I used on the first one I really like it it's really thin and you want it to be thin you don't want it to be real heavy um, then I use this one on the second one I got both of these from Joann's and Joann has a dot com. This I was going to use. I got it from Daiso and it's just a curtain, but I'm not going to do pink. Then I also got this from either Joann's or Hobby Lobby on all my material other than the Daiso one that I know came from Daiso. It's either Hobby Lobby or Joann's. So but I'm not going to use this either because I just I'm not in the mood for pink. So I am going to go ahead and use the white. Now, let me get the wire because this is the trickiest part. I had this from Valentine's, so that's the one heart with the flowers I showed you. I used that. This is the one I used for this template. And the big one, I got this from um, Hobby Lobby on clearance, and this is what started it. 
So, and this is the large one, and it's pretty big. Um, so yeah. So anyway, what you do is you pinch it in the corner here. Okay? You bring it around. See how I'm bringing it around? Following it, and it's going to move. And then you crease it there. You crease it as hard as you want and then you bring it around you bring it around you fold it over and then you have a heart shape you then cut it cut it to where you want it to meet up so let's see we're gonna cut it probably right here we would cut it right here what I found was if I clamped it and then used the wire to go round and round, put the little thin wire to go round and round, where is my wire? Because see, here's where I cut pieces. I think I have too much lighting. I'm trying to help y'all with the lighting. Sure you see everything to see how I cut the wire but anyway the small wire um, you just take I don't know six to ten inches and you put it and you wrap it around wrap it around until you get that it's just a uh, craft wire so now after we're done with that we have this and this does move all around so but once you start putting the lace on it it gets easier so let me sit down now that I was standing up doing that and I'm gonna try to stay in this frame <clears throat> all are at me girls and guys if I get out of frame <laughs> take a sip of drink I love my ice. I'm eating ice. Sorry. Charlie is heated up. Let's see. What is the front and what is the back? It's hard to tell. This was like $3 a yard and then I get it on sale. That's the front. So if that's the front, we're going to turn it upside down. To use it and see how I have extra so this is how I found out the easiest way um, to do it is I tack it right here with hot glue on on the metal and I pull it up and it is hot because of that metal then see how it's it's held up. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull it a little tight um, over here so it will stay in place over here. And you will have quite a bit of flyaways because it is, <coughs> excuse me, the glue is sticking to the mat. But that's okay. So, now that it's more or less tacked into three places now, I know that my lace is not going to move around on me because the first time I didn't, I didn't tack it and I was stretching it really tight because it got thin. See how I only have a little bit right there? So, actually, let's just <clears throat> start on this side. Um... Before we go any further, let's get our seam binding, and we are going to, you don't forget the seam binding needs to be pretty, it needs to be the second thing you do after. So the seam binding is going to go right here, and it does get in the way, but I don't want to 
tear the lace or anything so I'm just putting the seam binding in and I put a little bit of glue here and I'm not even going to worry about how long or anything until I'm ready to hang this up then I'll adjust the length so let's just put that there so let's take and get some of the tension off of that and let's get started Oh, the flyaways with this project huh okay so I'm on the outside I'm like just on the outside of the like if it's not on the top but it's on the outside and then I'm just pulling it and pulling it and I'm not letting the lace touch the other piece of the lace because that's where we want to trim and and all but all this gets hidden um, let me show you the back it's not the prettiest but it all gets hit, cut trimmed and gets hidden and then let me show you the back of this one too but they're really lightweight and they would really move in the wind if I put chimes on it you would call them wind chimes instead of Victorian dream catchers catch on my name <laughs> so let's glue this it's not hard but it's time consuming and eats up a lot of glue <laughs> so I hope everybody's been doing good um, I had four or five let me think one two three four five cons uh, uh, projects that people hired for me to make and so I've been so busy doing that what is it called um, commissioned projects and so I've been busy doing that that I haven't been able to do my own thing and if anyone's ever got anything from me you will see that I never put my name on it because I'm not sure what you want to use it for and if you want to gift it to someone else it's yours to do whatever you want so um, so I don't ever show and tell on that kind of stuff because um, it's theirs and I don't want to ruin anyone's surprises on Facebook or on anything so you see what that looks like so yeah I've been busy doing other things and now it's time for myself to play um, let's see how big this heart is my Tim Holtz ruler is getting really old it's about nine by nine this is the smallest one and of course I just used uh, heart templates that I had but you know you could do it in any shape you want but um, I just wanted to do the hearts I almost told my husband to get me a piece of wood and make a heart draw a heart with a pencil and then put nails in it and put the wire going around with nails but the wire is so pliable and so easy um, it really is just like coat hanger and I didn't have any coat hangers they don't do that anymore um, at the stores you don't buy them and I don't I do my own laundry my son but has them but he lives in a different town so I had to let me trim this a little bit closer and I was at his house this weekend um, my son oh. Let's see what Kyle did this weekend and what boo-boo he got this weekend. Um, oh, well, he's, he doesn't get boobies, boo-boos. He's, he's 29. He's my age. <laughs> I should move it up to 39. <laughs> he's going to pass me next year. Oh, okay, so there we go. So see how quick... Maybe it's getting quicker now that I've done three. Um, so there you go. You could trim that and be done. 
so let's trim it anyway he had coat hangers because he gets uh some stuff done at the at the dry cleaners um but uh now but he forgot to give them to me so see i'm not totally right on the wire i am leaving a little bit just a little little tiny bit because i don't want to cut through the glue or anything and this is the back side i guess you could cover it twice to have a front have a front and a back look the same but um yeah nah i'm not going to so yeah let's cut this be careful of your seam binding hanger and anytime you cut if you see a little hole let's just go ahead and put the glue there and pull on it so far I don't see one oh see right here you can see that I missed a spot so let's go on the outside and let's pull that pull it pull it I am using this because that metal does get hot I think I'm cutting too quick I'm not letting it dry I've seen these on Pinterest for as long as I've been on Pinterest and I'm always like I want to make that and I don't know who the original person was and I haven't seen a video of it um, I know I don't watch as many videos as I should um, here I am asking y'all to watch my video and I haven't stopped to watch a lot of videos lately um, with me trying to build a new house and own our own business and and everything it's rough but you know I'll get to y'all anyway so there you go you could say that's good enough that's kind of what I saw on Pinterest but I want to bring it up a notch like I did the other two so in my two other ones that I made, um, I got these out of my stash, and I don't think I'm going to use pink, but they're like um, iron-ons almost. I'm wondering if I should put... Uh, so i got to think in my head what I want to do. So let me just leave those maybe maybe I will okay so the last one I really liked uh, all the layers and the colors um, the shabby chicness of it this one's more foo-foo-ish with the flowers there's two different size flowers um, I don't know that makes it really Victorian-y too but um, shabby chic Victorian so let's see on what I've learned I learned you have to put your crisscross pieces that you want to use down before you put the trim down so let's go ahead and do that um, this must have been from Walmart I don't know where you where you buy the Offray. I don't know if it's Walmart or Michaels. So, sorry guys, but it was one or the other. <clears throat> so, do you want to do this way this time? Yeah, let's do this way this time. So, let's put glue on top of the wire. Okay. And let it then we're going to do a round on top of this wire and then 
let me just trim that. Okay, so now let's get another piece. Um, I try to be prepared, but you never know. Can that fit there? What if it goes underneath? Maybe this one should have been under it first. Can I pull that up? Ugh. Okay, you know my trick. This tip is hot. So let's get up underneath there just a hair. <clears throat> and move it. And on this side too. I don't want to unglue it too much because I don't want the netting to come off. <coughs> Let me get a sip of drink. Okay. So let's just stick it under there. This is stretchy. Let's see what it's top and bottom. I almost had it backwards. Yeah, see, I like that. So let's reapply glue. And it should grab both pieces. Let's go on this curve and reapply. Let's stick it under. Okay. Let's put that there. It did adhere. So let's cut the extra there. Ooh, almost cut that. That would have been good, but it would have been fixable. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, do we want to add another one here? Mm, I don't like that. Mm, but I might after I see what else I have. This was, let's see, this, this is vintage that my mom gave me, so let's use that and let's stick it right there. <clears throat> so, going to go ahead and seal it all the way on that wire. So Kyle was with Johnny this weekend cleaning the bottom of John Kyle or John cleaning the bottom of Kyle's boat. His name is John Kyle, but he doesn't like that. He wants to be only Kyle now. And I'm at home. I get a phone call. Um, let's go ahead and run a, a, not even a bead, just kind of barely putting glue there. Let's turn it around and do the same here. It's kind of just barely, barely wetting or using the glue stick or Charlie. <laughs> okay. So let's turn it over and trim. Get as close as you can, but not too close that you are going to take it off that wire. You're going to hide it all, so if you're nervous about it, it's better to just leave it um, closer than you would like because you won't see it. The trim I like using um, today is going to be the same trim on all of them. We didn't have very much waste there because you see how I placed it. Now that I moved my pink little mat, let me make sure I'm in frame again. Hi guys, I see you. <laughs> so 
I don't want this lace to move. I'm going to just barely tack it down. Um, yeah, Kyle uh, was with his dad at Kyle's house. He lives in a different town and um, about 20 miles away. Okay, so I want to get what trim, what trim, let's see, this is white, so I'm going to stick with an ecru, or do I want a white? I don't know if I have enough white. I don't know, I'm going to go white, since this is ecru. Let me see if I have enough to go all the way around. So if I start here and hold it in place... This is how I measure, because I don't want to get halfway around and not have enough. So I'm holding it. Yes. So, see, I do change as I go along. Um, <clears throat> Kyle and Johnny are cleaning Kyle's boat because he leaves it in a lake and it gets really nasty. And we're not used to that. We like, uh, we're used to the Atlantic Ocean. And you, you take your boat out e immediately and, you know, trailer it and send it home. But he's at a marina. So it's at the house. And Johnny's helping him. And for some reason, Kyle's having to open a box with a knife. And he jabs him stuff right here and came so close to the artery and tendons and had to get stitches, but he was good and safe. Oh, of course, Johnny calls. You need to come because if I see blood, I'm going to pass out when he's getting the stitches. And oh. But by the time I got there, because Kyle literally lives 400 feet from the new hospital, um, by the time I got there, they were heading... They were getting checked out, so I sat in the driveway waiting for them. So, huh. you would think that you don't get nervous when your kids get older, but it's never ending or worry. But so, yeah, guys, when you're opening a box, don't use a knife, use scissors. <laughs> He was trying to get, I don't know what he was even doing. I never got to that. I don't even know how many stitches he got. But we ended up staying at his house and getting uh, dinner to go and watching a movie. Um, just to make sure. Because Johnny says, should I take him? And I'm like, he says, it, it's a little, it's, it's bleeding a lot, but... I think I can get it to stop. And I'm like, you know what? I would hate for us to leave him and then he go to sleep at night and something happen because, well, oh, you don't know. So um, I'm going to, so yeah, it was better just to get a few stitches. So I'm going to turn this corner. And when I turn this corner, I find that a couple of these little pokey thing flowerettes are in my way. So I'm going to cut them. May only need to cut one. And see, it make it helps me turn that corner just a little bit better. And when I glue this, let's make sure that that seam binding is not going to get wrapped up and coiled up. Let's make sure it's kind of like out of the way and not getting extra glue on it. And as soon and see if you don't like that there's one missing, don't worry. We'll put a flower there. But see, there you go. Um. So anyway, stand right on the metal wire. This would be really cheap if you had the coat hanger, and then you could use the hook as the hanger, um, but I didn't, and I think that's what I saw on Pinterest, so I did have to change it up a little bit, 
and and all. Um, I could put the link to Pinterest. I think yeah, I have a I have a Pinterest link on my on my uh, thing. So yeah. And we are going to have a giveaway um, at the end of the tutorial or class. If this is a class, then are we allowed to chew gum? <laughs> sure. Okay. So let's see. Turning that corner. One more needs to be trimmed again. Manipulate it to what you want. I sent out like five or six packages um, this last week. They should be getting them either today or tomorrow and all. So that's going to be fun to hear or see their remarks or their videos. I, I would rather when I gift something it's just so nice to see that they're happy. There you go. So now let's just bling it out. Do we want to add that? Yeah, I don't want the pink. That kind of got washed away. Kind of got washed away. So we're not going to use those. So um, I do have, um, I, I'm going to make a dangly piece, so all I'm going to do is just have a piece, I'm going to trim it once I'm done. Let's, um, make a dangly piece. This is, the, I was going to do double on the last one and I thought it was too heavy. So I already have these cut. I like going ahead and cutting them totally in half when I'm making um, a dangly, I don't know what they're called, dangly ribbon. Um, this right here. And see, I was going to do a whole bunch, but it just got too heavy. And remember, you don't want too heavy on this. It's very lightweight. And you don't want something real heavy that it pushes through or breaks the lace. <clears throat> so, let's do this real fast. That way it kind of goes the direct, exactly the direction you want and it doesn't, um, it doesn't get real bumpy there, it's flatter. I do it every, it, every which way, it just depends on the moment. So, stay. Push that down. Okay, so just gave me a base to start on, which I didn't need, but it just feels a little better. It's a little long, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to put a lot right here. And put it right in the center and we will trim the ribbon up so let's cut it about there so that they all match I do like cutting them at a little bit of an angle. And 
Now these are a little bit too long too, so let's just snip them and snip them. Took off an inch, but anyway. Okay, now what do we need to do? We need to decorate real fast. So, uh, da, 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 da. what flowers do I have? Because I don't want a big flower to overwhelm it. I wonder if I should just put a, this flower here. Hmm. I'm digging, I'm looking. This flower? Yeah, let's do this one. This came from Hobby Lobby. They're regularly $5. You get them half price for $2.50. And um, this is called Ivory. And I cut them individually. And then just trim that netting. And then I um, fluff it up and make it shabby chic. Okay, I think this is too overpowering or too big. Um, I don't, I don't know where I got these. I think I DIY supplies. Uh, it says eight ninety nine flying unicorn. Oh, they were having a big. Okay, my camera shut off, and I was only seconds from being done. I'm trying to hurry and not always take so long. Ah! So anyway, I had to upload it and all that. So these actually came from Flying Unicorn. Um, she, it's an actual store where you walk in and she sells online. And I think there was 20 for $8.99. And then she was moving from one state to another and had everything... I want to say 80% off. <laughs> it was a good sale. It's been a, a while. But she has, you know, stuff. And I, you know. So anyway, when there's a sale, I jumped on it. So let's, uh, why is that not giving me, okay, what the stick wasn't. Now I put a lot. Ooh. Let's put this here and center it. Let's turn that around just a little. I didn't like the end being up there. And then this right here. Um, let's see if I can find. You should see everything I was working on, I have behind me. Some in the bucket and some hit the floor. So I have about a three foot by three foot area. Let's see, would you see that in there? It's a little too small. It's not wanting to turn that corner. Because usually I will wrap it with something. <coughs> oh, it's not working. <coughs> Boy, my hay fever is bothering me. So let's put glue on the back. Huh, Lee, face it the right way. We'll be heating that up to get it off. So let's bring out the little. Okay, so there's our project. We are done. And then when you hang this, uh, you can trim it to make it as long or as short as you want. So there's this project. So everybody, let's talk about the giveaway. First, um, before we talk about the giveaway, please um, subscribe right down below where it says subscribe red and share my videos um, and um, comment. That would be really nice. After this, I'm going to have photos so that you can see it better. Um, because I want you to be able to see the contrast in the colors. Uh, um, and on the video I made last time with the uh, wax paper, 
um, Hazel and May had told me about using wax paper, but I used freezer paper. I used that wax paper and I just couldn't get it to work for me. So I used the freezer paper, but you know, they both were talking about it within days of each other. So I got the idea from Hazel and then May. And um, <coughs> also in that video with the make your own printable paper, um, when I made the video, I was just trying to be real quick to show you what I was working on, just playing around that day. You can use watercolor on that paper prints. And I don't even have it in front of me to show you. Where are they? Lord knows where I put them. Okay, here they are. On this project, um, you can use watercolors on here not just pencil but you can use watercolors and paint and so it wasn't just for penciling it was you know how watercolors are real popular right now so if you use watercolors you can go ahead and and and, and do that or paint and um so your kids could have a lot of fun with this also um if you already have stuff that your kids or someone's done then just run a copy put this down on your printer you know the copy of it on your printer and then run this through and then you would have their artwork um a few ladies uh are going to make quilts and different things and it would be really really pretty to put it in a frame and put it with pictures and all that so anyway um I wanted to remind myself about that. I, I went so fast that I meant to say you can use paint, watercolors, and uh, pencils on the fabric, and it all worked. So what else? Um, so this is what's going to be in the giveaway is this right here. I'm going to mail this to someone with uh, goodies. And um, so if you would comment you get one entry and if you share you get a second entry so um, please do if you like this um, and it was pretty easy and it went quicker uh, I want to thank everyone for showing up and participating and um, hanging in there with me and being my subby I really enjoy uh, these glue gun chronicles um, so let's just pass it forward and be kind to everybody and um, caring is sharing, and that's why I like to share. And so, everybody, have such a great day, and thank you for joining me with the Glue Gun Chronicles. Bye.